Police in Louisville, Kentucky have released harrowing body cam footage of the officers responding to that deadly shooting at the old National Bank. The gunman killed five of his co-workers before police shot and killed him. KTLA Sandra Mitchell joins us live from the newsroom with the new details. Sandra. Pedro, it is intense. It is incredible. The body camera is already rolling as police pull up to the scene. You're going to see that inside the bank after shooting his co-workers, the gunman goes into the lobby and then waits for police to arrive. The first two officers on the scene run toward the gunfire. They are ambushed and wounded. Pull up, pull. Go, 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 go. Getting shot at as soon as they arrive on the scene. Body cam video shows Louisville police officers with guns drawn move toward the active shooter. Inside, still photos from moments before show the gunman waiting to ambush police. The shooter has an angle on that officer. We need to get up there. Already, one officer has been shot and critically wounded. He's on the ground, bleeding profusely. Louisville police today released nine minutes of body cam video showing their efforts to save lives. The gunman killed five people and injured eight others, four of them still hospitalized, including 26-year-old rookie police officer Nicholas Wilk, who was shot in the head. He remains in critical condition. This investigation is dynamic. It is ongoing. Investigators say it now appears the gunman who legally bought the AR-15 used in the shooting just six days ago was having emotional issues. We know he left a note. We know he texted or called at least one person to let them know he was suicidal and contemplating harm. But we don't have the tools on the books to deal with someone who is an imminent danger to themselves or to others. Authorities say he targeted the bank where he worked. Knew those individuals, of course, because he worked there. Um, and the evil that was played out on yesterday, taking those lives and injuring so many others, um, just truly unfortunate. And earlier today, lawmakers in Louisville made an urgent plea for stricter gun laws. This is happening in America everywhere and will keep happening until we say enough. Well, yesterday there were reports that the shooter was about to be fired at the bank. Today, police said that was not true. There was no indication that he was going to be let go from his job, and they have not yet released a motive for the shooting. Live in our news center, I'm Sandra Mitchell. Mary Beth, Pedro, back to you. All right, Sandra, thank you.